Today we have the Tamproed S37. They say it has a retro design. I don't remember ever seeing anything like this, but I like it. As with most Bluetooth speakers, this features RGB lighting. Well, at least B, it only comes in blue and you can't turn it off, but it does a good job at highlighting the buttons and the 5 watt woofer. This speaker also has dual side mounted 3 watt tweeters. All of the accessory ports are on the side. You have the TF card slot here, USB A, 3.5 millimeter auxiliary N, and then you have the power switch, followed by the micro USB power port. I desperately hope that we would get rid of this standard, but it is here. One feature that I haven't seen before, built into this handle, you have a tablet or phone stand. Now this will work best for you if you have either a small, thin case or no case at all. So neither my tablet nor phone could fit in this stand. But I think it's an interesting idea if you're using Bluetooth mode. With the exception of the power switch, all of the controls are built into this panel. Now on top of the panel is a small display. It tells you what mode you're in or what radio station you're listening to, things like that. And then in the middle of that is the volume knob, which is a lot more sensible to me than other Bluetooth speakers I have tested. One common complaint I have about Bluetooth speakers is the buttons are often not labeled and are difficult to distinguish. These buttons are clearly labeled in a highly contrasting color scheme. It's a miracle. However, if I can be picky, can, can I get both? Can I have the iconography in addition to the English words? I, I know, I'm, I, want, I just want it all. If you're playing songs off a memory stick or a TF card, the functionality is essentially the same. There is no randomized feature, which makes me sad. I desperately want that feature in any one of these devices that I test. However, it will remember where you were last time you were using this card. Uh, if you power down while you're playing a song, or you can even remove the, the media from the slot. And when you reinsert it, it will remember where you were at. So that's a nice feature. If Tamproad is watching this, please, no more micro USB. USB-C only from now on, please. I, I know it's just superficial, but I do like this copper colored woofer. However, I am concerned that there is no grill on top of this speaker. I just, if you're, if you're throwing this in your car or whatever, I'm just concerned that there could be some damage here and I don't want that to happen. This is not the first Tamproad speaker I've tried. The other one was much larger, much louder, sounded fantastic. This one also sounds really good especially in terms of bass and mids. It's got this port on the back. You want to place this near the wall and it really brings out the depth of the bass. The, the tweeters on the side, they sound good up to about three quarter volume and then they start to distort. So, um, but it's still plenty loud. Three quarter volume, you won't, I'm not saying don't get the speaker. Three quarter volume is plenty, but for most parties, for, uh, for, for your home office, for your bedroom, this is a great speaker. Tampro recommends this for indoor and outdoor use. However, they also say do not expose to direct sunlight or rain. So I don't know. I don't know what makes this particularly good for outdoor, other than maybe what they really mean is that it's portable. As I'm recording this, it's just bothering me. Why did they give this? Why did they call this a retro design? I thought, is it because of the antenna? Okay, rating time. I like this speaker. It's not a perfect speaker. We need to get rid of micro USB forever. USB-C only from now on, please. Secondly, this is a pretty woofer, I grant you, and I, I don't want to take anything away from your design. However, I really would like a cover to go over this. Something you can screw on, perhaps, um, just so it doesn't pop off easily. I would like some kind of a raised dot or maybe a red shine through light that shows me where the play pause button is. Just to give me a point of reference. I know they're clearly labeled with words. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, 
randomize function for TF card or memory card slot, please. I, it's extra work. I know it's extra expense, but it adds so much value to these speakers. I, I'd really love that. The, I, I don't even, I hate to, if you could have the tweeters sound great at maximum volume, I, I'd really appreciate that. It sounds, it sounds really good the way it is, but it sounds so good, I just wanna turn it up a little more. So <laughs> I don't, okay, four out of five stars. You're, this is a fine product from Tampro. I highly recommend it. It just isn't perfect, but it's a great speaker. Get the speaker. One more thing. Normally, this is the part where I say thanks for stopping by, but I want to give a special thanks. I appreciate my subscribers. You really make my day. See you later. Okay.